what the fart is going on guys welcome to your 21st tutorial and like I said we are done with the CSS so now we get to hop over in the HTML file and start actually making the crap that makes this stuff work so what we did is we already linked to the CSS file so we pretty much just got to go in the body and code all the HTML tags and let me show you guys how to set it up now if you remember the very first thing we need to do is we need to make a div and we need to give it the ID of footer div and remember this is just your overall footer pretty much says, says that this thing is going to stick to the bottom of the web page it's not going to be floating in the middle of the web page or anything and you know all your basic settings so that's what the footer is and usually I like to you know embed my tags right here but for the sake of this uh, tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the unordered list right here so unordered list unordered list because if I start embedding too much stuff like here then right here I'm eventually gonna be off the screen soon so in my unordered list remember this entire footer is an unordered list and each of these buttons the home button account profile two columns it's a list item so in your unordered list we gave this the ID of footer menu I think it was now the footer menu if I could find it ah uh, la 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 where are you alright now the footer menu we pretty much just uh, did some housekeeping stuff and we said okay reset all the margins and padding and width to zero and also we pretty much set it up so it isn't a regular unordered list because a regular unordered list would be like a grocery list where you have tuna bacon one item right under each other but in this unordered list of course it's going to be a little bit different we want our items side by side so we're pre basically setting the framework there now that's all you need to do to set it up pretty freaking sweet huh so now what we can do is we can start creating the individual buttons now these are very easy like I said each individual button is a list item so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to create these item by item each one is actually a little bit different especially the first one so the first button on our toolbar is this home um, icon now in the source code, and the source code is on my forum, tnbforum.com, link below. You can get all the images and everything for the home button I'm talking about. But anyways, the list item, we'll just go ahead and end it right now. All right, so the list item basically consists of a class, and we named that class home button. Now remember, in the CSS file, what we did, make sure I don't hover over it home button home button home button home button where you at where you at come on big money big money I probably oh here we go what we did is we basically said okay whenever we have a link in the home button don't just add normal text to this link we want it to be a special link on this link we want it to be a picture and when you hover over it we want it to be another picture and the reason that we have two different pictures is look at this little icon right here whenever you hover over it I don't know if you guys can see it but it turns from gray to white so that's what we're doing and of course in our HTML file what we need to do is we need to add a link so a href and usually whenever you're making this website let me just finish this real quick what you would want to do is you would want to put like index.php or index.html for the home button but since I don't know what you know you guys are gonna do with this code I'm just gonna put a hashtag there and uh, that just means okay put a link here eventually but anyways whenever you make a button and you give it the class home button then your icon of a little house is gonna show up so everyone knows it's home and by the way if you want to use images aside from home then just go over in your CSS and you only need to change the background right here so now you guys know not only how to style it in CSS but also how to add it to your HTML file so that button is actually that's all we have to do for that how freaking sweet is that that was like the easiest thing you guys probably have ever done now for the next button right here it's the account button now the account button is a little different now this account button has stream messages and it has a couple of things we want to take note of first of all these main header links are red 
and they're a little bit bigger text and you also have your normal links like links employment education and you also have I want to call them like notification links that are special links as you can see whenever you have a new inbox message or a friend request you can easily point them out because they are bold and they're white so let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in the next video because it's gonna take some time so uh, anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video